Hey guys, it's your boy Jeshua, aka Boy from Ipanema, here for ILoveToCreate.com. Can you believe it's time for a new year? I can't. It seems like just yesterday it was like 2010. Dang, dang, dang. Well, today I'm going to show you how to ring in your new year with a New Year's Eve mask to celebrate the unveiling of a new year. Or if you just go to a party and you stayed out too late, or you plan on staying out late. It's a great way to cover up your face. Is that just a me thing? Let's get started. Hey guys, uh, so sometimes in life we make bad decisions like deleting your entire iPhoto app on your laptop which contained all of your footage and all of your pictures, <laughs> but I'm okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make this video old school and kind of uh, do it on my iPhone. So, hope you guys keep watching. Here's what you're gonna need to make your New Year's Eve mask. This is the one I made originally. Turned out pretty dope, if I do say so myself. You can buy a mask form at your local craft store. They're already pre-done. They're just like a white base like that. And then you can decorate it from there. That's what I did for this one. So what you'll need for this project are the following things. Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue, some beads in a bottle, in a bunch of different colors, a paintbrush, some glitter of your choosing. I am using Crafty Chica glitter in black. I really like the Crafty Chica glitter because it has flecks of gold and silver and green and red and it makes the black really interesting and it makes it pop. I'm going to use some gold. This is what I'm going to decorate the edges of my feathers with. This is Tulip Fashion Glitter in gold. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, I made a really quick mask just out of some cardstock and I'm going to decorate this one. But it's really flimsy and I would suggest buying one or making one out of either paper mache or plaster mache. But this is just a cardstock one that we're going to use for demonstration purposes. First thing you're going to want to do is cover the entire surface of your mask with some fast grab tacky glue. Once your surface is completely painted, then we can go ahead and add your glitter. Just pour that mess all over like Morgan Freeman. Now that your mask is completely covered and dry, now we can add the embellishments. I'm going to use the gold beads in a bottle. Then I'm going to use the gold glitter beads in the bottle to add some embellishment to the top. Now we're ready to embellish our feathers. First, before you put your feathers on, lay them out and take a paintbrush with a bit of tacky glue and just brush the ends like so. All you need is a really small amount and you just want to get the ends. Then you can pour the glitter color of your choice onto the top, just on the glued places. Then your feathers are all pretty and embellished and ready to go onto your mask. Now for this part, take your mask and a bit of fast grab tacky glue and put some on the back and place your feathers like so. And then repeat the process on the other side. When you're done, your mask should look something like this. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful, happy, and safe new year. And most importantly, an amazing year to come. Happy 2014. Subscribe.